What makes the law of attraction possible? It is you who make the law of attraction possible, the awesome power vested in you. The tremendous power you behold is not really just physical. It is who you really are. Your physical body is not you. It is a mere egoless physical vehicle. Welcome to the Paranormal Life Channel. You can view the other clips at the end of this video. Press like on this clip and you may subscribe in order to view further clips from this channel. Who are you really? You are absolute mind. You are pure light. You came into your physical body on this globe, Earth, in this dense physical realm in order to grow and develop towards the ultimate light, towards ultimate reality. You come not from this Earth. You as a being share the ultimate source of existence and you are on a never-ending journey of existence. What are you really? You are everything. You are three major forms in one. The body is your temporary physical capsule, while your soul is your less temporal adhesive combination which connects your physical body to your spirit self, or higher self. If the full existence of you as your spirit self is unleashed inside your physical body, then your physical body will blow apart, cease to exist. Your soul condenses that superego mind power to a much lower frequency and vibration for your physical body to function. You can tap the tremendous higher self power through your soul. How do I tap into the high self? You do that through your soul self, through your dream world. Your subconscious mind is the window to your soul. But view my other clips to get a better grasp on this phenomenon. You may also contact me through my email below. What is your higher self? It is your higher spirit self which creates the miracles. Indeed the law of attraction is one of the miracles which is natural to your spirit self. I found, on one of my out of the body experience encounters, anything is possible and nothing is impossible for the high spirit self. Once you yourself comes into the spirit realm after your physical body expires, you will become aware once again, you are in the power position to think something into existence. The mind can think anything into existence. On your physio level, if you ponder, you would realize, it is exactly similar. Everything you encounter and everything you experience on earth as well is basically what your mind experiences. If you hurt your hand, for example, it is not your hand which feels the pain. It is actually your mind and only your mind which feels the pain which your hand encountered. Your hand in itself feels nothing, not a thing. What is the universe? The vast universe is huge to us, because in our physical body we are small. The universe is not actually big in its true essence when perceived from the perspective of our true higher self form. The universe is our genie in the bottle, your wish is the command of the universe. It took the entire universe and multiverse to create one blade of grass. We are the products of the universe. The universe is constructed as a life-creating factory, and this life-creating factory we perceive as our universe, also sustains the life it creates. You as a mighty being participated in this life creation and life-giving process. And, you are now here to perceive yourself as a macrocosmic participant to this microcosmic receiver and interacting in the process of life on your limited physical level. How do I develop spiritually? This is not really what it really is. It is the other way around. You are already developed. You as a higher self being. It is your physical body which limits you. As you believe, so shall you be.